Hi there, my name is Niranjan Kalyanasundaram, and I'm here to demonstrate a new script I wrote for After Effects called The Framework Changer. Now, I think we've all been in a situation where you're working on a low budget project, so you don't have the budget for um, purchasing high quality stock media, and you don't have the time to go out and shoot your own footage or create it from scratch, so you're stuck with using free stock media. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but the biggest problem is that you don't have any control over the nature of your footage. So I've created a sample project like that over here, and you'll notice right away that the frame rates are just all over the place. Like I've got a footage here at 25 FPS, I've got some slow motion footage at 60, I've got motion graphics at 29.97, I've got some nice black and white matting footage at 24, I've got a time lapse at 30 FPS, it's just, it's a mess, it's all over the place. And you just can't go through production like this. You've got to conform your footage just to a common frame rate. Now let's say I need to deliver a 24 FPS. The first thing I'd probably do is go in and interpret my footage. Main, um, conform to a frame rate, and I'm gonna say 24, hit OK. And sure enough, that changes. Now if I wanna apply the same thing to everything else, I could just interpret footage, remember interpretation, and apply the interpretation on the next footage. And of course this is going to be a lot faster if you're using shortcuts. Whoops. And pasting. And sure enough the frame rates are changing. Now if I'm working on a tight deadline I still don't have the time to do all this especially if I have a lot of footage this year. So I've written a script that does this work for us. Um, I'm just gonna go up to my scripts and fire up the NKM frame rate changer v1.1. Enter the new frame rate, I need to deliver at 24 FPS. And okay, frame rate changed for 26 footages. Two footages were already at 24 FPS. All right, cool, but wait, 26 footages? Well, it didn't just affect our input media. It also went ahead and changed the frame rate for everything, including our compositions, I've got pre-comps, I've got proxies. It changed the frame rate for any, everything in my bin. Now, suppose I don't want to do that. Um, you can go ahead and undo everything, and I just want to point out here that the script writes to the history stack once for every file it changes in your bin. So if we go and in, look into our history, it's done quite a lot here. So I'm just going to undo everything, and we're back to where we started. Now let's say I don't want it to affect my compositions, just a few footages. Um, maybe I want to change the frame rate for my slow motion footages. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all the footage is here at 59.94 FPS. Um, yeah, I think that's all of them. And I'm just going to run the script again. Uh, 24 FPS, just 24, hit enter. Frame rate changed for three footages. And sure enough, those were the only three files that were affected. And that's it. The script is available for free download on GitHub and on my website, nkmultimedia.weebly.com. If you need any other tutorials or scripts, just let me know in the comments below. Once again, my name is Niranjan Kalyanasundaram, and thank you for watching.